Okay, so, um, I couldn't actually hook up my controller, which is really annoying. There's got to be, um, like a, a program or something that I could download that would let me do something like that. The only problem is that I don't have internet currently. I'll have to call TDS tomorrow, or actually, where's my phone? What time is it? Phone? Phone, where'd you go? Oh, it's up on the window, so behind me. Right. There. figuring my phone. Anyway, um, um, yeah, so we're gonna keep playing. After speaking with the Ostian spy, Layla, the group decides they must travel to Valor, the Dread Isle. The small island located south of Lycia is said to be home to the Dragon's Gate. Heading for the southern coast of Canelan, they seek passage in the port of Baden. Mama. <coughs> Listen, we need a boat to Valor. You want a boat to the Dread Isle? You're mad! No way! Never! There's no one in this village who'll sail there. Please, we're in a hurry. Can you give us passage? If you won't help us, can you take us to someone who will? Please. You must be on urgent business, that's certain. There may be one way. What is it? Tell us, please. Pirates. Eh? Pirates? Uh-huh. They're fearless. Or as close as makes no difference. And they'll go anywhere for a fee. Who knows? They might decide to accept your mad offer. Pirates. Looks like we've no choice. Are you serious, Hector? Working with pirates? That's unbelievable! You're considering it, aren't you, Ellawood? If there's no other way, what else can we do? You too, Ellawood? I've misjudged you. It's foolishness to trust the goodwill of pirates. I'm finding another way. Why is she so angry? I heard that Lindis's parents were slain by bandits. Bandits at land, pirates at sea. They're all the same to Lindis. Lawbreakers and murderers. I see. My parents died of illness, but I can appreciate her feelings. Shall we abandon the pirate plan? But... Too bad about the girl, but there's no other way. Let's meet the pirates. We can't decide until then. That's true. That and over there is a known favorite of the local freebooters. They're reckless and unpredictable. Best be prepared. Well, whelps, what is it you wanted to see me about? I'm Hector. You're the pirate chief Fargus, right? Grahaha. <laughs> Tell me something, lad. Where were you raised? Is that the tone you take when you're about to ask a favor? You insolent... Peace, Hector! Bah, don't worry. Alright, I'm sorry, old man, okay? Listen, we need your help. Hmm, you're an odd bird. Sh you sure you're noble-born? I'm Fargus, captain of the Davros. Now, what do you want? We want you to sail us to Valor. How much will you pay? Don't know the current rate. How much do you need? 100,000 gold. What? 100,000 gold? You're daft, old man. Well, will you pay? Very well. We don't have it with us. We'll get your gold and be back here as quickly as possible. Let's go, Ellawood. Hector? Hector, where do you plan on getting 100,000 gold? I've got a plan. A plan? I've got to get back to Ostia. Oh, you're going to ask Lord Uther for the gold. Don't be stupid. I will not kneel at my brother's feet to beg for money. Then why are you going to Ostia? I've got some ceremonial garb, armor, helmet, books. I'll bring it all and sell it. Hector, are you sure about this? Yes. My brother would be unwilling to part with that much money. Not without knowing the reason why. And we don't have time to waste. 
There's not much I can fr I can take freely, but it's a start. We'll take that money to the arena and raise a hundred thousand gold. Good idea, Hector. I'm off to foray. Ahoy! Hold your ground, boys. What now? We don't have the money yet. Fool! Of course you don't. I know that. The captain's got a message for you. A message? All of my mates in this village are going to attack you. If you can beat us all and get to the ship unharmed, he'll give you passage. For free? No gold? The captain's a tad off kilter. He'd rather have a bit of fun with you than take your gold. Smooth sailing to you. Hey, landlubbers! Over here! I'm over here! Do you think he's serious? Just play along. Let's go. Listen, the captain's waiting at the docks. Talk to him and you're the winner. Trust me, though. Don't make the mistake of attacking him. You anger the captain and there's no turning back. Don't forget. I think it's dumb. I think if you were actually able to kill Fargus, you should be able to uh, take the boat. I couldn't find us a ship after all. But we have to get to that island. Looks like I have to endure pirates. Hmm? What was that? Commotion in the village? Oh, Lynn. Nice timing. We need your help. You're battling the pirates? Fighting and... Look, we have to reach the docks and speak to the captain. This is a test to see whether or not he'll give us passage. I don't understand, but... I'm here, so let me help. Alright, let's go ahead and pick up our units real quick. So we got all of the important people, right? We've got Lynn, Hector, Ella Wood, and then we've got my two magics, my three, and then we're missing Dark, who we'll get in a minute. Alrighty then. Alright, nope. You gotta give all. You gotta give all. that. You can get the hammer and the door key. Sounds good to go. You can go ahead and get those and then take your iron sword back. She's good to go. He's good to go. Wait, actually she needs a she needs more staff. Do I have one? I have a mend. And he's got a red gem. Okay, real quick, we need to Transfer take, get the red gems. Um, I don't know if we're gonna need the chess key. It depends on if I can get Matthew to steal something. We'll keep the keys on hand just in case, but the hero's crest we don't need, and the knight's crest we don't need, correct? Because we have Burke and Sarah, and we've got Will, Florina, Dark. So we don't need those. I mean, we can raise a hundred thousand gold if we want to. And my shops do have um, healing supplies. We're definitely gonna have to stop at the shops too, because we're gonna need um, some more lightning. Maybe some more magic, definitely bows. I like to have a good supply of weapons, and we don't currently have a ton. So anyway, I don't think there's any of the guys that have like good stuff for me to take from them. Just gotta keep an eye on the weapons they're using, because these axe guys will mess you up. So we've got the halberd and the sword slayer. We've got Sane up here. We might actually need to give him a lance just in case. Not for the axe guys, but um, you'll see. Right, we'll give him. Screw it, we'll give him an iron lance. I always end up saving steel stuff until I get like really late in the. My keyboard has a, a little touchpad on it, and I accidentally tapped it. So, real quick, Ella Wood is the lowest level. He can go up top. That's actually one of the tactics, because if you get past this block, these, this one here, this one here, if you step into either of these two or past them, 
you get alerted the the, uh, the pirates they start coming after you otherwise these guys all stay put and then you can actually go all the way up and around here and then quickly run through the forest and get to him and actually try to beat the pirates but I'm gonna fight the pirates because they are free XP all right I'm gonna save I forget how to do a save state how does he do that options file What is it? Save game. Okay, so it's Shift F. It's Shift F1 and Shift F2 and stuff like that, and then you just need um, to hit the F1s and F2s. So that's how we're going to end up going through the arena, just so that um, if we lose somebody, we don't have to restart completely, because it'll basically just be the process of going through it all again, and it's better to just leave it. Alright, so we want to pull out that pirate and pull out the other one. And then we can go get Gannis. <coughs> I forgot to move my mic. Apologies. Alright, so we'll head Verena up here. Pardon me, I was speaking with an old sailor a few moments ago. He told me that you're planning to travel to Valor. Is that so? Really? And that's why you're playing tag with these pirates? I see. In that case, would you mind if I joined you? My name is Kanaz. I'm a scholar of sorts. I've been seeking passage to Valor, but none will take me. My proposal probably sounds somewhat selfish. No, you should know I can help in combat. I have some skill with a form of elder magic. Some call it dark magic, a rather biased term if I must be blunt. But at the very least, I can take care of myself and perhaps others. Yeah, so this is Kanaz. He's a pretty cool guy go like this. A scholar, a novice, student of ancient magics. Um, he's got a secret book we'll end up giving to somebody who's got a really low skill in my party anyway. Uh, skill there, skill, skill. No, he doesn't need that. He doesn't need that. Uh, elowood has got low skill. He doesn't need it. He's level 20 and he's really low. Yeah, Elowood can use that. Cannons can't be attacked anyway, so we'll go ahead and give the secret book to Ellawood. Alright, and then we'll come down here. This path leads to danger. The pirates are waiting for you. Do you not think it would be better to find another route? You've risked so much to come here. I can't let you leave empty-handed. Take this axe. What do you think? Nice, isn't it? However, it's cursed. It's a mighty weapon, but if one with bad luck wields it... Ooh, terrible, terrible, I tell you. Don't use it unless you have to. Devil X. Bad luck. Is it based? Is it luck-based, whether or not it damages the user? Might injure its wielder. Maybe it is luck-based. I don't know. I don't know what the coding is on it. It's obviously RNG, but if the RNG is affected at all by luck, that would be nice to know. <clears throat> Oh, who do we have to have sit up there? Alright, real quick, let me think how I'm um, facing the onslaught once it gets here. So, Irk will be good to go on the bottom, and then we can have Will underneath him. We want to keep Hector away from the magic as much as possible, and try to take him out with other people. So Florina will be ready to ambush magic users, and then I need... The others ready to take them out. Right. Go ahead and attack you. Alright, so Kanaz, you can just sit back. We don't need you. Now, and then Matthew can sit there waiting. Kirk can sit here. Lynn will be facing off against these guys. Where's the Sword Slayer? Killer Axe, Devil Axe, Hammer, the Sword Slayer's down here, right? Yeah, Sword Slayer's here. So, if I have a Lance, I'll be good against him. He's got a Halberd, which is strong against Cavalry, which is not good for Sane, but we'll be fine. I mean, we can have Will here, Hector behind him, because Hector will be able to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Yeah, he'll be able to hit anybody in that range. And then we'll have Florina up here on the house, keeping watch and she can ambush one of the mages. Ooh, 
What an interesting diversion. Maybe we should join in. Lord Alawood of Foray, you don't yet know to fear the Black Fang. Start grieving, for I will teach you that fear. Oh crap, yeah, I gotta back up. Back up just a little, same will take care of these guys. Oh crap, that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got to back. Ooh, support Elwood. Yeah, do that. I'm gonna skip that, I'm not gonna bother with it. But their support level increased. So we'll get out of the way of Damien real quick. Alright, we'll go ahead and equip up this, the launch real quick. Oh, wait, can I? I can't kill him from here. Damn. Alright. We'll let Sane go ahead and tank Damien. You're about to die. Scream if you must. I think not. Yeah, he's got, um... I think he's got a killer sword. So I... Picked up. Oh, I've got, the, I've got the javelin out still. I meant to have the iron lance out. I would have done one more damage to him. No damage. Because Hector's a beast. If I wanted to, I could just have him sit there and break the hand axe on him. Alright, Black Fang, you're dead. Oh, it's a good thing I had the javelin out. Now I can just kill that guy. Level up, strength, skill, luck. She's not even going to heal him? I mean, alright. I guess I'll take him out. See you later, Damien. Gah! Ah! Crow and triumph! You've... And Ella would take him out. Get some no XP for it. We'll level these guys anyway. 15, 17, 17. Yeah, these guys are up there in level. A lot higher than I expected them to be. It's going to be like maybe 12. Nah, might as well save that for somebody who needs the XP. I wonder if she'll just sit there or she'll run away. Yeah, she'll just sit there. Cool, I guess we'll move you down and let Matthew take him out. Alright, everybody back in the positions. Prepare for the ambush. I have Will backed off, just so, just in case um, I want somebody else to be closer to it. Ella, we can keep going that way. We'll have Sarah on standby here, so she can reach anybody. Alright, so he's got the halberd, so I either... Hmm... It'd be best to have a lance user right there. Or actually, no, an axe user right here would be great because neither of those would have any effect on him, but I don't have a good axe user yet. I'll be getting him on two levels. Alright, so everybody ready? I have the javelin out, and we're not going to be able to get killed. What moon calves? I would have let them sit there if they hadn't come any closer. Up and at him, mates, attack! I also changed his voice. Yeah, so we can attack one further. You can attack one further. So currently, the only ones that can attack are these guys, and these guys are at bay. Michael Bay. Alright, let's move you up closer. And actually, let's move both Will and Hector closer, because she's got to move at least one space out to begin with. And then we'll move Eric closer as well. Alright, let's see how this goes. So all those guys are going to move, getting closer. And then two people are going to attack Sane. He's got one handled. Critted, because the dude's an idiot. Only strength. Wow, what an awful level up. And then the halberd, which might do quite a bit of damage. Damn! I got a lot of XP from that. Wow. Alright. Um. <laughs> Say so he needs help. 
Alright, let's make sure we have that archer taken care of. It's ten. What do you have? You have a killer axe. Can I crit him? Mm, I don't even know. Here, let me see if this works. Shift F1. Actually, I already had a saved one there, so let's go Shift F2. And then C, file, save game. Yep, it worked. Okay. So we're currently saved at this point. Not a great point, just because my tank is low. Okay, but she can take out him. Take out him without taking any damage, but then he would do 12. So if we go here, damage you, got health, weapon level increase. And then take out you without getting hit. Okay. And then you're dead. Oh wait, can Hector take him out? Yes he can. Hector, easy take out there. Nice strength, skill, speed, and defense. Alright. And then we have either Devil Axe or Hammer. Devil Axe is more pertinent to get rid of. Didn't quite get him. That's fortunate, but Will can take him out. Can Sane take out the Shaman, though? 24, taking 11 by chance. Steel Sword takes him out immediately, and then he will take 11, so if Sane were to get hit by the hammer, it wouldn't kill him. So then we Steel Sword you. Nice. Another level up for Sane. And then takes out the Devil Axe, and then all you have left is the hammer. And all enemies but the hammer are dispatched. The hammer can't even kill anybody. Except, I don't know, maybe Urk. How much attack does he even have? He's got 22 attack. <clears throat> and 10 speed. With the hammer, is 10 anyway, so he's got 0 speed. So if he hits, he's only going to hit once. Oh, that was all of my characters moved. Alright, health, skill, luck, and resistance. Now, there is a tactic to this that, um, if you're playing on Game Boy, you can go into the arena, you can pay, and it doesn't start the battle, and you can see what you're going to fight, and if you don't think you can beat it, you can turn off the game, turn it back on, um, end your turn, and then that will waste a random number, so then you can, um, go again and try to find somebody who's a little bit better match for you. But with this, since I have the save states, it's essentially doing the same thing. Health. And that was all. <clears throat> anyway, that's all of the enemies taken care of, so we can go ahead and start looting stuff. You're being tested by pirates with passage to the Dread Isle hanging in the balance? Here, use this bow. It's a rare beauty, eh? A Sakaian friend gave it to me, but I can't use it. Don't get yourself killed out there, okay? Shortbow? Yep. Perfect. Will was the guy to go get it. Now we've got one more item here. You're a brave soul to come to such a perilous place. Here, you should have this staff. You can use it to make those magical resistances or weaker than your own fall asleep for a while. Whether it works or not depends on the skill of the wielder. Oh, yes. Looks like those pirates are bearing down on you. Maybe the staff will help you get away. I mean, honestly, if you're close enough to be able to get that staff, you've got the pirates on top of you to begin with. And then we've got that one over there, which you can go grab real quick. And then we have the shop. And is there no armory here? Hmm, guess there's no armory. But yeah, there's magic at least. Stabs. So we can go and train up all of our characters that are not yet level 20 to level 20. Which is what we shall do. So then everybody will be maxed out. 
and then um, get to level one as soon as I get items for them. It'd actually be a little bit interesting because uh, Sane will leave here level 20 so he will be my absolute tank and nobody until we near the like the final couple chapters will be able to hardly touch him. Are you interested in this sword here? It's called a Lance Reaver. It's an incredible sword to take against lances. Still, it's a little weak against axes. Go ahead, take it. You're going to the Dread Isle, right? If you want to avoid those pirates, go behind the shop. From there, just head straight down the alley. Good luck to you. Thanks, Reaver. So she'll be our uh, little runner for our stuff. So Will is done. Also, can't have anybody wait next to, next to Fargus, because uh, he'll immediately, once you end your turn, be like, hey, you made it. So we'll get all of our not leveled down there, and then I'll have all of my leveled people just hanging out. So she is leveled. Get another heal. We'll get a couple more lands. Actually, we'll get an extra one too, because I got plenty of money. And then another thunder, why not? And a couple of heal staffs sent to Merlinus. I mean, we'll be completely fine. The only problem is I don't have the Guiding Ring yet, so I can't <clears throat> send Sarah through the arena over and over again. But I will have the Guiding Ring by the time I get to that nighttime place, so then um, after I class her up, she can't use stabs because uh, she'll end up getting to S rank in those, and I can't let her be an S rank in stabs. She's got to be S rank in using magic. So Dart actually will not attack me. You can attack him if you want to. I'm going to leave him alone. I have never tested if killing him prevents him from appearing when you get to the Dread Isle, <clears throat> but there's no point in testing that just because I mean, it's, it's not really worth the risk. Okay, so we're going to train up our three lords. Where's that lord? I left him up here. He won't attack me. He just stays put. Never actually found that option in the coding, because I've played around with the coding for this once or twice. And I never saw an option in the coding to be like, don't attack if an enemy comes near you. Because he's, he's got weapons. There, there's a way you can tell him to stay put, and then they won't do anything for them. Do I want to use Kanaz? I mean, I could. I could train him up. But that would require another guiding ring. He's here. So I mean it wouldn't hurt, but ah, I'm just not gonna bother. It'll be fine. Alright, so we'll send Sarah here. We'll have Lin wait in the arena. So after every few arena runs, we'll um, do a save state. So anyway, if Lorena's done. And then we've got Sane, who's going to need to go. He's going to have a lot of save states for his. Alright, let's do a save state. Hit it again, just to be sure. I actually have to hit FN, because my keyboard is so small. I have to hit like a little FN key before I hit the F1 key. Alrighty then, so I think we're pretty much ready to go. I usually try to avoid high-priced um, combat. Under 750 is usually where I like to stay. So he's a 50% chance of hitting. I do equal damage to him. He missed, so this is a win for me no matter what. You won A. Here's your prize. We'll just put Hector right next to her so she can. You're faster. No, I don't want to spend so much goddamn gold. And sometimes you'll get ones that are, like, um, really, really easy. So as long as he misses one, I win. Or I crit, I win. Cool. That's victory for me. 
Health, skill, luck, and resistance. And then, I mean, just since it doesn't hurt, we can just do another save state. Sure, I'll spend 640. Pegasus Knight, Iron Lance. She can. She's got to miss. She didn't miss. Oh no, I kill her no matter what. I have to miss for her to win. Victory. I also just realized I can. If I tap on my pad, I can calculate out the battle beforehand. Because I have my mouse off screen, so if I tap, it actually pauses my recording. Or it actually. No, it doesn't pause the recording. It pauses um, the GBA emulator. I prefer to stay under 750. Soldier Iron Lance, he can kill me twice. <laughs> Crit, I win. Alright, there's some more gold for us. Alright, do another save state. Alright, 720. Bring it to Iron Axe, we win. Health, strength, skill, resistance. Yeah, the, um, the using the entering and then leaving thing is most useful when you're only fighting ones you know you will win against, like every time. If you're still having anything to chance, it's not as great. So you have to miss. Or I crit. Cool. Save state again. 660, Pirate Iron Axe, I win. Strength and Defense. Lin is maxed out. Alright, that's Lin done. We'll go ahead and move her out to the side. And then uh, we'll get Earth moving over to the other side too. Who do we want next? We can do Hector next. Do a save state real quick. Keep moving Eric over there because he's done. We get uh, Will over there too. Florina would need to make another run to the shop if uh, she breaks her stuff. Whoops, I accidentally caps locked. Nope, I don't want to attack. You know what, just to make sure I don't? Here. You hold on to this for me. Sure. Oh, I win for sure. Thank you. Actually, yeah, let's just go pick up staff because I know I'm going to end up using it. Yeah, we're already on six. We're, we've only gone up a few levels anyway. Should I raise 100,000 gold? I mean, my finances are going to be five stars for sure in the uh, final grading. Sure, Peg Knight Steel Lance, done. Health, skill, speed, defense, resistance. Alright, we'll kill you up. I liked the um, Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon on the DS. Ooh, Cavalier Silver, Silver Sword, he's got a... I'm not using the save states to get out of paying money, I'm using the save states to get out of um, needing to just re-go through all of this, so not as cheaty. He missed, that gives me another shot. I missed, he missed, good. I missed, he hit. I missed. He hit. We're backing out. So I'm not using it to get around the game itself. I'm just using it to circumvent time. Just because, I mean, if I were to mess up on one of these, ended up dying, it would take another however long it took me to get there just to get back to that. And then there's a chance I might mess up again. 
21, so it takes him four hits, it takes me three hits, yeah, I win. Of course, when I say stuff on this, I'm looking at everything. So just because I say something doesn't mean that's the only reason. I'm looking at all of the numbers at the same time. Well, actually, I actually have to look from one side to the other. It's not as simple as playing on Game Boy because I've got more space to cover with my eyes. Sure, we'll do that. Silver Lance 15 takes 3. I take 4. I'm going to hit him twice, right? Yeah. We're good. So you won, eh? Sure, soldier with a steel lance. Don't mind if I slaughter. Of course I won. Actually, we should do a save state real quick. Fourteen and then seventeen. So he's got to hit me three times. I got to hit him three times. Fuck it, I'm not gonna even bother with that. Ignite Silver Lance, good. Dead. Health, skill, speed, defense. Heal him on up, he's level 20. And then, I don't think I need the full arena to do much, much more running. Alright, who do we want to go next? Matthew can go, he's squishy. Rider with an Iron Lance. Yeah, that was gonna fuck me the hell up. I hate it when they send the little squishy guys up against uh, heavy lance users. Peg Knight with an Iron Lance. Miss? Yes, thank you. I win. How much does she actually heal, by the way? She heals 25 with a heal. Shaman with Flux. Does 16, I do 9. I'm gonna hit him 3 times, he's gonna miss. Or he didn't miss, but whatever. Fine, either way. Sure. I don't know why, sometimes I can just feel like when it's going to be an Axe user. I like when it's going to be a sword user. So you won, eh? Here we go. Same state. Sure. I feel like if the second number is an odd number, I get axes more often. No, I'm not spending 900 gold on a thief in the arena. Fuck that. Miss? Nope, he hit. Miss. Fuck. He would have had a chance. He's up to 29? Yeah. I don't know why Matthew's got so much health. Did I give him the... Angelic robe? I mean, we can make him into assassin. I've never tried it on on hard mode before. I don't think there's an arena after you get to turn him into an assassin, though. We can try it. I don't know what the um, requirement is. 17th, so he's got a miss. Good, he did. Health, strength, defense. 
I don't know how well he is. I mean, he's absolute shit for attack. He's got 10 strength. I don't think he would be a great assassin, but I mean, we can do it no matter what. Support Hector. Good day, young master. How fair you. Oh, cool. So she can support Will. Okay, I'm support for you now. Wait, can Sarah support? No, Sarah can't support Kirk. Not yet, at least. Damn it, I tapped off screen. Alright, so then we got Ella Woods, got six levels left to go. Welcome to the arena. Sure. So, eight and nine. Do I hit twice? So, as long as I don't miss, I win. Correct? No. Yeah, I was wrong. Whoops. Wrong thing. Forgot I have to hit the, hit the FN. Alright. No, I'll send another wood in. And actually wait a turn, though. Because that wastes a random number. Meaning I won't get the same fire mage. Or there's a fire mage right there. Alright then! It's supposed to waste a random number. What else is supposed to be supportable? I don't know. A knight with an iron lance. And then I say, fuck that. I hate how awkward some characters are to have in the arena. They're just. Some just are not made for the arena. Oh, I could have finished him. Damn. No, I don't want to spend 800. Why do you keep giving me knights with iron lances? And I missed. I missed. Watch him not miss, though. Oh, he did miss. Cool. Well, then I win. Alright, save state. Oh, yeah, I want you closer to. Sure, I'll spend 700 fighting him. Hey, what's the difference between him and the fucking knights you've been sending after me? They're all the same. As long as I don't miss, I'm good. Health, skill, luck, defense. Oh, yeah, I can increase the skill. Shall I do that? Let's do that. Where the fuck is my skill book at? Oh, he's got it. I forgot I gave it to him. Should I take on a mercenary with an iron sword? Yeah. Pretty good fight. Do it again. Put me against sword or axe all day. Lance I'm a little less happy with. As long as I don't miss him, good. Strength, skill, defense, resistance. Good, done. Cavalier with an iron sword? Good, done. Skill, speed, luck, resistance. Fighter and axe? Done. I think we're good. 
fuck that. I guess we're not. I was thinking I was going to attack twice for some reason. Staff. Heal, not the mend. Don't use the mend. Don't waste it. <laughs> okay, in what world is that fair? Alright, he's down one health, but that doesn't matter. Unless the shaman can do 14 damage, which he can. And then I'll be attacking twice. Then, next, Fire Mage. Who does 9, I do 10. Wrecked! Strength, skill, speed, luck. Damn. I mean, damn is it's, it's pretty good for Elwood. Elwood usually got crappy levels and stuff. 10, I do 11. You've got a miss. Or do I hit twice? I hit twice. We're good. Actually, let's, uh, let's save state. Just real quick. 11. And I hit twice, so we're good. He critted! Seven fifty. Alright, that's good. Done. Health skill luck. And he's at level 19, so he's got one more level to go. Mercenary Iron Sword. Battle's over. See, I told you it was over. Or not. I hit B. Fucking register that I hit B, goddamn game. Looks like you sure I'll fight a fire mage. Death to you. He missed. Every shot sucks to be you. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't fight that axe user at 650. I was supposed to. But here's one. Luck and really, you know what? I'm gonna go back and load that one. Just cause or the soldier that I fought. Cause if I do the same stuff that I did before. It'll give me the same outcome. Let's see, better level. You can actually do that if you want to. You can keep just wasting random numbers so that your characters get like all of them every single time, but that's such a waste of time. I mean, at that point, you might as well just go into the game's code and make it so that they always gain everything on a level. That's, I mean, it's faster. Alright, there we go. Health, skill, and defense. He's level 20. Yay, way to go, Ella Wood. You're not quite as shit as you would normally be. So, he's got the same strength as Matthew. God damn it, Elowood, you're a piece of shit. I mean, how much strength does Lynn have? Like, 14? 12? Still better than you. I mean, I suppose they aren't totally much different, but Sane's got fuck tons of strength. He's gonna max out his strength in just a couple levels. Alright then. But it's, damn it, I clicked off. I keep tapping the little, uh, pad. Alright, Sane is next. And we're gonna go ahead and trade with you, so that I don't accidentally attack him. And then you might as well give Hector his hand axe back. Alright, let's go ahead and save state for Sane's first run. Sure. Steel Lance, I still do 18 damage. Oh, he need crits. This is what you get for sending a Falcon Knight against me. Yes, Sane. Yes. Sane doesn't give a fuck. Strength is maxed out. 
insane will devour your lance users all day. <laughs> Give somebody a killer weapon, and you might have a chance. Give them a killer lance. Look at this, 15 damage versus 9 pansies. Nothing. <laughs> They're like, we don't know what to give him. He's perfect as he is. No, he's not. He needs to get better. He will be perfect. A hero with a steel sword. Dead. Two hits. Took a little bit of damage because he missed a bit. Oh yeah, when attack goes, you can't be insane. Quit missing so much. Health and skill. Yeah, he could definitely do it with more health. That's always nice. Well, let's go ahead and save state, just because... I mean, I'm not stupid. I know he's not invincible. Maybe a weird magic user, or if I happen to miss against one of these fuckers a lot and they crit me or something like that. Yeah, it stuff can still go bad. Six ten Iron Axe Berserker done. Oh, he hit him. Just health. Well, he doesn't have strength to level up anymore. What's he supposed to do? Falcon Knight with an Iron Lance. Dead in two hits. Missed me. Sucker. Sage with fire. Yeah. Health and luck. out at 20 defense? No. I think it's 25. A uh, sword master with a silver sword. Mortgages in court were good. Yeah. You just can't beat me. I mean, I'll back out of a fight because I know some people are just fucking ridiculous, but... Won't be too long, and same will be on two bars of health. There was one kid, there was a soldier that I fought that was on two bars of health. Maybe a couple of them. Yeah, that guy was on two bars. Health, skill. I have exactly 40,000 gold. Perfect. The safe state right there, actually. Was just wailing on him. Cool. I just got a support with her. happen though. It was the two bottom right and the two top or was the two bottom left and the two top right. The only thing is that I'll have to remember to bring somebody else. Yeah, I didn't get anything for that level either. I have to remember to bring somebody else to heal Sarah while she's in the arena. Otherwise I'll be buying elixirs back and forth to keep her up. And that's going to waste even more time. General with Iron Lance. You're dead. Health, all I got. Same, you need to get some better levels, honestly. Like, the ones and the zeros, they're not cutting it, bro. You need some defense and resistance. Skill and luck are good, too. But you need to... It's okay to dodge, and it's okay to slaughter, 
but you kind of need to be able to survive when people hit you. 16 defense is good, but it's not going to pay the bills. I mean, can you do 18 by the time you're level 20? How many levels got? He's got three more. I'll accept a 17. Just get at least one more defense, please. Health and skill. I get it, you're skillful. You don't gotta show it off, bro. Hero with a steel sword. Yes, you own him. We know. Health and resistance. Okay. Now just get... Just get defense, okay? One defense. I don't care if you get nothing else. Get a defense. You know what? You know what? We're gonna be a dick. You're getting one defense. I just safe stated. You're getting a defense no matter what. You don't like it? Sue me. You got a defense. Good. Alright, Sane is level 20. Sane is maxed out. These are going to... Well, they might be his end-game stats. I don't know. I might give him, um... Depending on shit his resistance ends up being. Uh, might give him something along the lines of stuff that does that. I don't know if there are any secret shops in this that you can actually buy, um... stat increases, because I feel like that would be really cheap. Because if you if you had those and somebody went through the arena as many times as I do, they would be able to afford those nonstop. Like every character would have all of their stats maxed out. It'd be interesting though if they uh, made Angelic Robes available so you could max out the health of all your characters, but yeah. So, was it Will that I... I forget who I even gave that. Oh, it was probably just Sarah. No, Sarah didn't get it. Did she? I don't know who I gave it to. Might have been Will, or... Actually, might have been Florina. I don't know. I don't know who I gave it to. Why don't we give... Caps locked on accident. Why don't we give Sane one last run through the arena? Yeah, it wouldn't take too long. I mean, you got Sane running the arena for you, you're gonna get your 100,000 gold in not too long. Don't make the mistake of attacking him. That, that would suck if you ever went through, like, all of the arena stuff on Game Boy and then accidentally attacked him. Aha! You made it, whelps! That was hard. Haha! <laughs> You'll give us passage now, won't you? I'm a man of the sea. I always keep my word. Are my old eyes lying to me? Is this beauty really with you? Gwa ha ha ha, my lucky day. Listen, I know how you feel, but you have to accept it. We've no other choice. I know that. I haven't said a word, have I? We can go to the Dread Isle now. Please, Father, be well. And all characters are completely maxed out, so... Rather tedious, I know. Um not actually that heavy on story just because it's a side mission that's really about that mission is really just about the arena getting your people all maxed out and ready to defend the ship and um i hope you guys did enjoy and i will talk to you all later